Please welcome Jesse the Body Ventura. This is a hostile audience Hostile here crowd. You may have to crack some heads here tonight. I'm even talking like one of those guys now when you're here. You I'm retired. Great. I'm retired. Oh, you are right. Well, you're yes, out of it now. I retired a year and a half ago. Really? Yeah. Any trouble getting through the metal detector today in the airport? Yeah, no, not really. Not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> kind of a snappy dresser now. This is, uh, well, looks like fashions by Davy Crockett, apparently, here. I'm not really... <laughs> Kind of a hip snake kind of thing? Well, uh, uh, actually, these uh, these here are interesting because those are my Dalmatian boots. Dalmatian oh. boots. Somewhere there's a... Uh, there's a lonely firehouse tonight somewhere. Oh, you, know, you, know, you know how when you, you... Some places you go and you pick out lobster that you want to eat? Mm -hmm. Well, here down in Mexico, you pick out the Dalmatian pups. Uh, you know, the closer the spots, the younger the pups. Well, you know... The key to show business is winning the crowd in that first time you come out, you know? Well, now I'm getting more used to it because yeah. that's the response I, I'm more used to. Now, have you, all, have, you all, <laughs> have you always been kind of an unconventional dresser here? Yeah, I have. I, uh, well, I did four... Uh, at age 18, I enlisted into the United States Navy and did four years in the Navy Underwater Demolition SEAL Team, which is the Navy Special Forces, which is real rigorous training. And I'm a Vietnam veteran. And uh, I promised... Thank you. And I prom and the Dalmatian boots actually they're synthetic, so you can all rest easy. Oh boy, so bad. <laughs> but uh, no, I did. I promised myself, Jay, when I came out of the military, that no one would ever tell me how to dress again. Apparently, they haven't. Not, 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 not even Ron's father's going to do it. <laughs> so you're on, are you on the road an awful lot? I'm, I'm... I uh, used to be. When I wrestled, you know, I watched a clip of you, and I think you enjoy the road, don't you? I like well, it. I like it. I mean, it's fun. Yeah, I, guess. I think I, we get a little different crowd there, but it's... it's... Well, not always. No, I've not always. No, crowd, I've seen some know, of my crowds. Uh, yeah, I, I spent 11 years wrestling, and uh, it's a tough life because you basically live out of a suitcase. And yeah. I got tired of that. That's why I like doing films now a little bit more because uh, then when I go away from my family, I'm gone for a couple of months, but then you make enough money to where you can rest yeah, for you, four months. Yeah, you can rest for four months. Yeah. So how about now, there seems to be a lot more lady wrestlers going. Was that... Uh, is that something fairly new? How, what is your feeling on that? Some well, I, uh, if they want to, fine. Uh, there's, a, you know, there's some tough lady wrestlers. The fabulous Moolah, I don't think I ever wanted to wrestle her. A fabulous Moolah? Yeah, anybody that's ever seen her uh, in her day, I'll tell you, she was one tough customer that uh, I avoided. Really? Not, but they never had. They never had men and women wrestling. No. Uh -uh. You didn't see our 50-foot woman. No. She's yeah, I saw there. her earlier. We're going to have you wrestle yeah, her she, right she, after she, this she important could take message. On Andre. <laughs> I think Predator is your first film, right? Yeah, Predator is my first, and my second is Running Man, which I did with Maria Conchita. Oh, is that right? You two yes. did a, a film together. You broke my neck. You <laughs> broke your neck in the film. She heals quick. You don't strike me as that kind of guy. <laughs> no, I've never had a guy break my neck before. <laughs> Great experience. <laughs> Tell me about, now we have a clip here from Predator. Okay. Is, I, I've seen the film, and uh, you were very impressive in the film. You Thank did a you. terrific job. Thank you. Well, for me, Predator was like a Peggy Sue got married type thing. You know, I, at age, no, truthfully, at age 35, I was able to go back and kind of do what I used to do at age 18. Right, but rather than go back and make love, you go back and kill the people you couldn't kill when you're 18. Sure, I sure. And, and the better thing is we shoot blanks now instead of real bullets, right, which right. makes it nicer. But the scene you're going to see here is we've just come across some of our allies who we found skinned alive in trees. Oh. And we've assumed that the gorillas have did this, so naturally we're going to wreak some havoc upon these gorillas. Wreak some havoc? Yeah. Okay. Upon these gorillas. And but really what did it was a space creature and a space right. alien, which at this point... Here we go, there we go. Dug in like an Alabama tick. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Oh. Okay. You got time to duck? And that 
was uh, that was about 90% of the dialogue in the film right there, wasn't it? Pretty much. No, not really. Uh, <laughs> that, that scene actually was after we had wreaked this havoc. Havoc. No, wait a minute. Let's get back. And, and after you do that, no, after you do that, then you have to lighten the situation up a little. Right. You know, after you've killed... Now, is it Havoc to, or Havoc? I don't know. Havoc, Havoc. Havoc is whatever. the old uh, Shaw's. No, I'm that was Savoc. I'm that was from Minnesota, you know. We is that what our, they say? They say Havoc? Yeah. I'm from Minneapolis, yeah. and we have our own language and style. See, that sounds more like an Israeli candy. Have some Havoc. You know, I, I got to tell you, Jay, you're on tonight. Well, thank you. Now, now you, you, you also have a band, right? You, I did. I I, uh, I played around in, in some music. I had a band that I called the Soldiers of Fortune. And, <laughs> Soldiers of Fortune, man. Uh, we uh, played a lot of hippie joints, did, I guess. Sounded, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't laugh, you kill the audience. Yeah, you get out of here. That's right. If not, I'd bring out Old Painless, the minigun I shot. But we didn't quite play the kind of <laughs> old music. Old Painless. That, that's the minigun yeah. that I shoot. What kind we, of music did you play with these soldiers? We played rock and roll. We played some uh, original stuff. And I found that helped my acting career more than anything, really. Really? Yeah, because I had never sung before or never played harmonica. And nobody's going to tell you you're bad, really. Right. So you... and, well, what we did, what, the key to harmonica, and I'm sure Doc can verify this, is you buy the harmonica and the key of the song. And therefore, you can never be out of key then. Yeah, but then you can only play the same song for the rest of yeah. your life. Well, 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 then the way, we, the way we covered it, we called it New Wave Harp. New Wave Harp? Yeah, because that way, no matter what it sounds like, you can cover it by calling it New Wave. Clever idea. I'm always thinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you now. In Predator, in the clip we saw, and obviously yeah. it didn't look like the bat lot, the back lot here at Paramount or something. No. What, what did you do? Did you go to location? Did you go to Thailand or something? No, we were down in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and Palenque, Mexico. Oh, okay. For well, that's about very two pretty. two and a half months down there. Well, it's pretty if you're along the shore. You get in where we were about 50 minutes in, and it becomes real dense jungle, and they have what are called coral snakes down there. Now, what are the, now they, I guess they're, we're looking at one right now. Probably. No. <laughs> Actually, they're a lot smaller. They call them two-step snakes, because if they bite you, you got two steps. Oh, that's nice, as opposed to the one-step snake, which right. is much crueler. Yeah, yeah, much crueler. Well, <laughs> we'll be right back with snakes and hats and Dalmatians right after this. Thanks. I want to thank my guests. Uh, Ron, where are you off to? You got something coming up? Uh, yeah, actually, November 6th on, uh, on PBS, I was lucky enough to get involved with a film called AIDS Changing the Rules, and that's, it's going to air on PBS, November 6th. Check okay, your Okay, great. Maria, you're off to New York to start a film with Nicholas Cage. Yes, The Vampire's Kid. Right, you got that line of all former meat clothing coming out there, possibly. Yeah. Now, you got a film where? You're off to New Orleans. I'm off to New Orleans in September to do a okay, film down I'm there. I'm out to find vacuum cleaner bags. Anyway, listen, uh, Johnny, thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow night. My guests will be Jimmy Walker, Beverly D'Angelo, and the music.